Hi, I'm Ken Oaks with Oaks Daylilies, and in today's video, I'm going to be planting a bed of daylilies. So I'm going to talk about uh, getting the daylilies ready to plant. I'm going to show about trimming the tops off and about dividing them down to the right size that's appropriate to plant. Then I'm going to show you how to plant. I'm going to talk about you know what fertilizer you might want to use when you plant, and then show you how to plant them and talk about spacing, how far apart you want to plant them. And then we'll talk about uh, mulching them after you plant, and then, then we'll see what the finished project looks like. So the daylilies that I'm going to be planting in the bed today are some that I dug up from an old planting. So these are some uh, big clumps. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide them down before I plant. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to trim the tops. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons why I like to trim the tops when I move daylilies. Uh, first off, normally when you dig up a daylily and move it, the foliage is going to look like you dug it up and moved it. It's going to wilt some, maybe turn yellow. And so it's just going to look better if you trim it. Now, I suppose if you dug it up and moved it and planted it just right away and watered it in good, you might not have as much uh, wilt or, or, or effect from that. But for the most part, I just recommend trimming the tops back. So I'm just going to use, we use some uh, just old steak knives here at the nursery, so that's what, going, what I'm going to use to trim it with. So I'm going to trim it just about you know, four or six inches from the, from the roots here. And uh, you know, pretty much all there is to it is just you know, cut through like that. And I'm just going to go around and trim. You know, trim all of it. So like I said, I just use our old steak knives that we use here at the nursery. Uh, you could use garden scissors or just whatever you've got. They're pretty easy to trim. Um, one other reason that I recommend uh, trimming the tops on the daylilies is that uh, the next step is dividing them. And it makes it easier just to see what you're working with if you get the foliage out of the way. So one of the questions we get is, uh, you know, how big do you want to divide your daylilies before you plant? And uh, so when daylily plants, uh, you know, you can divide down as small as just a single plant like this. Uh, this is called a fan. So it's got, you know, a plant attached to roots. So this is as small as you could divide it down. But if you divide them down this small, it's going to take uh, probably a couple years or more before you get a good, um, you know, get good bloom on this. So I recommend that you don't divide them down this small, that you leave a few plants together. Uh, now a lot of daylily clumps will just uh, divide pretty easily. So I'll t check and see if this one's one of those. And if it is, you know, I should just be able to pull this apart. So let's see, see how that works. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that pulled apart pretty easily. So you see this clump here has, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, you know, five little plants in it there. So this is a good size. This is uh, what I would want to plant. Uh, this is about the same size as what we uh, send on the plants that we sell. And the reason I like, you know, selling something this size is because it should bloom for me this first year. Uh, and so I'm just going to divide this clump down, uh, you know, to the to where they're all about that size. So if the clump doesn't pull apart easily, uh, I'm just going to take my knife and just uh, sort of slip it in there and cut a little bit. You know, maybe uh, maybe twist a little bit like that. And then see if that doesn't, you know, help it to, to pull apart like that. Yeah. So there we go. And if it if it's harder, if it doesn't want to pull apart, well, you know, just cut a little bit more. You know, even if you have to cut through the roots, you know, these are daylilies, and so uh, it's not going to hurt them. So, you know, that's what I'm doing right there. I'm going to divide these down in half. Like I said, this was a pretty old clump. I think it'd probably been there 10 years or more. So I'm going to get five or six nice little chunks out of here. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to do that one one more time. Do this one one more time. All right, there we go. Looks like we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nice chunks out of that clump. Okay, so a question we get a lot is how far apart do you want to plant your daylilies? Uh, typically, you're going to want to plant your daylilies between 18 and 24 inches apart. Uh, normally, if a plant has a big bloom, it oftentimes has a bigger plant, and a lot of times if it has a small bloom, it has a smaller plant. And so, you know, it kind of makes sense. You're going to plant the smaller plants a little bit closer together because they're not going to make as big a clump, and you're going to plant the, the bigger plants with the bigger blooms a little further apart. So I'll show you what we, what we came up with here on this bed. So the varieties I'm planting uh, today are larger bloom varieties with a little larger plant. 
so um, I just kind of eyeballed them as I laid them out in the bed. Looks like uh, they came up about uh, you know 21, 22 inches apart, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to I'm going to leave them like this. Now, uh, one thing you might notice after you plant, if you space them this far apart, is after uh, you get them planted, they may look like they're too far apart. Uh, but uh, you'll be glad, you know, later on this year, and especially next year when they clump up and, and the clumps get bigger, because they'll they'll look good then. So you'll be glad you plant a little further apart than might look right right now. So I'm getting ready to plant the daylilies. Um, one thing I'm going to do today as I plant is I'm going to use a product that we have called a grow tab, and it's uh, made for transplanting daylilies. And uh, basically, it's just a tab that you drop into the bottom of the hole as you plant. So I'm going to put this in there. Um, question we get a lot is how deep do you plant your daylilies? Um, daylilies are planted uh, not particularly deeply. You can tell on these the dirt's still on there. So this is about you know ground level right there. You see where the where the dirt was. Now if you uh, you know if we ship these to you we've obviously washed the dirt off but you'll be able to tell there'll be a white line in between the uh, the roots and the top and that's about ground level right there. So that's that's how I'm going to plant that. So I'm just going to pull the dirt back I'm going to drop my grow tab down in there, put the, uh, put the daylily on top. I'm just going to spread the roots out a little bit like that, and then just cover it up to about the level that it was before. Then I'm just going to mash it in there good. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So now that I've got my daylilies planted, I'm going to go back over the top with a little uh, granular fertilizer. Uh, this is a, a blend that we had made by a fertilizer company here local to us. Uh, so you can get this on our website. Uh, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this, about two spoonfuls full uh, for each plant is about all you need. So it's not a lot. I don't have a spoon with me today, but I'll just sort of estimate. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it around the plant. Just like that. Sort of a circle around the plant. I'll just do the same thing. You know, like a couple spoonfuls is all. Just like that. All right, so that's a, about all that you need. A bag like this, this is just a four pound bag, but this is enough to do about 75 to 100 day lilies. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mulch the bed. Uh, today I'm just using some wood chips, and uh, I use these in large part because we get them free. Uh, but uh, when I'm doing landscaping at my house, for instance, I go ahead and uh, pay for the better looking stuff. But uh, dailies aren't real particular about what kind of mulch you use, you know, wood chips, uh, uh, pine straw, just whatever you got. So I'm just going to you know, spread some, spread some around the plant. Like that. So it doesn't have to be too thick, you know, an inch or two. Uh, mulch is great for a couple different reasons. Um, it will help keep weeds down and it'll help keep moisture in. So uh, I definitely recommend, you know, putting mulch on your beds. Well, I've got the bed mulched. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do before I'm done, I'm going to water it in really good. Uh, and then uh, we'll uh, give this uh, some time to get growing and we'll see what it looks like here in a couple months.